Hi everybody! Today we're gonna make Japanese gyoza from scratch. We're gonna start with making the gyoza wrappers. The full list of ingredients will be at the end of the video. Place salt and flour in a bowl and pour in the water. I first place half a cup of hot water into the bowl. Stir it with a wooden or rubber spatula. If the flour still separates, add one tablespoon of water at a time until it forms a dough ball. The dough ball should look like this. If it's too tough and rough to knead, let it rest for 10 minutes for the gluten to relax. After resting, knead the dough ball on the work surface for 10 minutes. It will be a little tough in the beginning, but continue kneading and it will become soft and smooth. The dough ball should become like this, smooth on the surface and soft to touch. Place it back into the bowl and let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes. Cut the dough ball in half using a scraper or a knife and roll them into individual locks. It should be about 1 to 1 and a half inch thick. It doesn't have to be perfect. Wrap the locks individually in plastic or cling film and let it rest while we prepare the filling. Ideally, it should rest in room temperature for 30 minutes. Now, we will prepare the filling for the gyoza. Firstly, we will blanch the leaves of the cabbage. Here, I'm using Chinese cabbage. If you can't find any, normal cabbage is fine as well. Blanch the cabbage until the core is soft and translucent. We blanch the cabbage beforehand to avoid any hard bits and bobs in the gyoza. Next, we will cut the cabbage into tiny pieces. If you do not like the taste or you're trying to sneak in some vegetables into your children's meal, this is the perfect way to do so. Place the chopped up cabbage into a sieve and squeeze out as much water as you can. Next, we'll prepare the ginger and garlic paste. You can use a spoon and start peeling the ginger skin exo. This is a better way to peel a ginger rather than just cutting it off and have wastage. If you prefer having bits of ginger in your gyoza, you can use a fine grater and grate the ginger. But I prefer it in a paste form. So I cut it up and using a pasta and mortar, I smash the ginger and the garlic to form a paste. Now we will combine all our ingredients in the bowl. Place the cabbage, ground pork, ginger and garlic paste and all the seasonings in. I'm adding 1 teaspoon of sesame oil, 2 teaspoon of soy sauce, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. If you have any type of sake or Chinese rice wine, you can also add one teaspoon of it to enhance the flavor. Make sure to mix well to ensure that all the ingredients are incorporated. Once it's fully incorporated, wrap and put inside the chiller for later use. Now we will complete the gyoza wrappers. Cut the log in half and cut them into 6 or 7 equal pieces. Store the extra dough in the container and cover it with a wet paper towel to avoid it drying. Squish the dough ball into a circle and place it on the work surface. Start by rolling the dough ball from the middle down. Then, turn 90 degrees and repeat the process. If the dough shrinks back or is too difficult to roll it out, let it rest for 10 minutes and then continue rolling. You can use cornstarch to prevent it from sticking. Roll the dough out so that it is as thin as possible. Next, I cut the dough out using a round cutter or here a measuring cup to ensure all of the wrappers are round. Remember to dust each layer with potato or cornstarch to avoid sticking. 
Place the wrapper in your non-dominant hand. Place one teaspoon of the filling in the middle. Tip your finger into the water and make sure that the top of the wrapper is wet. Fold the wrapper in half over the filling. Using your thumb and index finger, form a pleat and gently press them to seal it. Continue with the left side of the gyoza, starting from the center and working towards the left. You can form 3 or 4 pleats on each side. It's a little difficult in the beginning, but don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Continue to wrap all your gyozas. To save your gyoza for later use, you can always freeze them. Arrange them in a single layer lined with cling wrap to avoid sticking and place them in the freezer. Once frozen, they can be stored in a ziplock bag to up to 3 months. Remember to like and subscribe for more easy videos. Heat 1 tablespoon of oil in a non-stick pan. Place the gyoza in a single layer with the flat side down. Cook them for a few minutes over medium-high heat until the bottom becomes golden brown. Add a quarter cup of water to the pan and cover it with a lid immediately. Steam them for 3 minutes or until the water evaporates. And there you have it! Easy Japanese gyoza from scratch. Take a screenshot of the ingredient list for future reference. Thank you for watching! See you soon!